Sorry, I don't have the uh, pretty backgrounds I usually have because I'm in a hotel room, a actually really cheap, shitty <laughs> hotel room in Denver. Uh, but I had a, a thought this morning that I want to share with you. Um, I was thinking about uh, what does just the existence or the connection between psychedelics and spirituality tell us. And I, I think it tells us something really interesting and it keys into why it might be controversial because spiritual experience, I think most people are going to say one of two things. Uh, people who are coming from a more traditional uh, religious background are uh, going to say that spiritual experiences happen because you were hit by lightning and God came down and gave you this experience. What I mean is that it is an external force coming into the coming into the human or not even into the human, just in front of the human and ca causing you to have a basically a normal sensual experience, except that it is of a supernatural phenomena. Then you have the more secular idea is that the reason that you saw God is because you are fucking crazy. Well, what psychedelics uh, or even like meditation to a certain degree, I suppose. But psychedelics in particular, what they suggest is that there is a third option. It is neither an external God striking you with lightning, nor is it because you're fucking crazy. It's because spiritual, spirituality, that is spiritual experience, is essentially a biological function. The organism is capable, under certain conditions, of having... A, of creating whatever, tapping into what, however you want to put it. it. It is a biological function, basically, of the organism to be able to have these amazing transcendent experiences. And the reason that psychedelics work and that they can be so, have such a strong association is because it's a little chemical, goes into your brain, triggers, pushes the little buttons that need to be pushed in order to bing 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 in order to get the uh get the little computer to do what it has to do in order to do that particular function and so it is neither a lightning bolt from the outside nor is it a um misfiring of broken broken circuits it's more like just there's a particular code beep beep boop that makes it do this particular really cool function. And so what that means is that both the atheist-leaning um, secular uh, interpretation, they are going to find this idea controversial. And also the traditional dualistic religious folks are also going to find this very controversial. And so neither one is really on board with what we're doing on the surface, they kind of have to be convinced. And what is the way to convince them? Well, it's what they don't want to do. It's by people pushing in the code and actually just fucking doing it instead of instead of criticizing us. But, you know, and that's what some people do. But a lot of people are very frightened by the possibility of doing that. And so they would rather not do that. Anyway, I am going to be done and get on with my day. Bye.